Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. Today I have a project to share with you using some goodies that came out in Mama Elephant's January release. I am featuring the Number It stamp set along with the coordinating creative cuts. So I've got my dies right here or the creative cuts, however you want to call it, potato, potato. Some people like to call them creative cuts, some people like to call them dies, whatever works. So I ran it through on some car craft cardstock, and now what I'm doing is I'm just laying them out on a panel of Nina Solar White Scene, how I want to stagger them, what placement looks good, am I feeling it? Yes, I am. So then once I get it how I want it, I'm going to adhere the one, the three, the five, and the seven. I'm using a little post-it tape to keep them in the right position because I'm going to die cut the one, three, five, and seven onto this panel. And then I'll take the two, four, six. Every time I say that, I just want to break out into a cheer like two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Mama elephant. Hey, hey, mama elephant. <laughs> I am so sorry. I just cannot resist. Whenever I hear two, four, six, eight, I automatically break out into cheerleader mode. It just happens. It just comes right out of me. So now we're going to start adding some ink blending, some color. And, you know, I'm going to do ink blending. Big shocker. I'm using the Mama Elephant pigment inks. I'm starting with sunshine and trying to get it right under the one. I want a little bit darker on the bottom, a little bit lighter on top. And, you know, get a bit of ombre. So, and then on the two, I'm using some Orange Aid pigment ink. And now you can't really go real heavy you got to be kind of a light pounce because these die cuts are delicate you got to go easy on them and so then we'll move on to the three and i'm going to pull out the lollipop ink now i'm using my post-it tape to kind of mask off under the one under the five i only want to get the lollipop under the three you following me sorry about my fraggle rock hairs getting in the way i swear i'm trying so hard to not get my hairs in the way and every time there's my hairs there they are I'm telling you, I've tried everything. I've moved my camera up higher, moved it lower, moved it forward, moved it backward, and still my hairs get in the frame. I don't know what to do. So let's just ink blend our way through this issue. Okay, so we did the lollipop. Now for the four, we're going to pull out a little tutti frutti. Oh, Rudy. But I noticed when I was doing the tutti frutti, it was just a little bit light. And so I pulled out a little eggplant to really bump up that purple factor. So I got a little mixture of tutti frutti and eggplant and that made me happy. It's all about the color combo right there. Look at these colors coming together. It's just like delicioso. Okay, so then for five, we're gonna go deep, dark, rich. Uh, I think I'm gonna use Stargazer for this. This is a gorgeous blue pigment ink. I tell you, if you had to pick a favorite, this might be it. And I'm telling you, I, by the way, did you see that? Um, I did a color. I asked people to leave me comments for a blog hop. I did, and I had over 500 comments, and people had to tell me what their favorite color was. I don't know if you saw the pie chart, but by a mile, blue won. Blue was the favorite color amongst, if I put it in a pie chart, and it had like over 100 votes, blue was the favorite. Now, I personally would have voted for green, but I tell you what, these pigment inks, this Stargazer Blue, it's the bomb. Okay, so once you get all your ink blending done, you got to pop up the panel. And I use a whole bunch of foam tape. I don't want any saggage in all those nooks and crannies of the numbers. So we're popping that up. And then we're going to take the two, the four. I'm, if I say two, four, six, eight, it's going to break out in a cheer. So I'm going to say I'm going to pop up these numbers. They... The even numbers I shall pop up. So now you get this awesome dimension. And then once we're all done with that, we're going to handle the sentiment. And I'm using the happy that is from the number it stamp set, this gorgeous scripty font. Stamping that with some VersaFine Onyx Black onto a little scrap of Nina Solar White. Now there's no coordinating die for this sentiment. So we got to take it old school. Woo woo. We're just going to do a little fussy cutting. I don't mind that now and again. It's nice to just sit down, relax a little bit. Or if you like to stand, you know, whatever tickles your fancy. If you like to stand and fussy cut, if you like to sit and fussy cut. Like right now, when I do my videos and most of the time when I craft, I stand. But when I color with Copics, I like to sit. So it's very complex. You got to find out what works, you know. And so with fussy cutting, it can go either way. And now I'm just adhering this down. Got a little foam tape, a little bit of Tombow Mono on the edge there. Now I needed a birthday to go along with my happy. So I embossed this birthday sentiment. This is from the Happy Everything. It's an older sentiment stamp set. I embossed it in white 
on a little strip of black, cut a fish tail, popped it up with some foam tape. Now I'm just cutting off the excess right there. And this card's pretty much finished. I just felt like I needed one little thing. So I adhered some sparkling clear sequins just for a little something something. And that is it. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.